talk me through the goal. Oh, it's, a, it's a blur at the moment, but I've just seen it back on the um, TV. He's come in and luckily it's just fell to me back post and I just nodded it back across the goal and then it was just, just delighted really. Yeah, what went through your mind? Because I saw you run to the front of the stand. Well, I didn't really know what to do because I'm not really used to scoring, so um, just, uh, I, I don't know, I just got pushed to the front of the stand and, and everyone jumped on, so I don't know, um, celebrations, so I might have to work on it, but keep scoring. What does it mean to you? Oh, it's amazing, amazing feeling, um, especially being the, the only goal as well. It's an incredible feeling, couldn't ask for anything more. Is it something you've worked on? Because John Wolf was in here a moment ago and said that working, getting on the back post when the ball's on the opposite side, is it something you've gone through in training? Yeah, um, John uh, Gaffer is a strong believer of um, tracking the back post. So every time the ball's on the opposite side, I, um, I make a conscious conscious effort to try and, uh, try and uh, track that back stick. And uh, luckily in the first two minutes, one's, one's fallen straight on my head. And, there, were, there was another one that went in and I didn't quite make it, but hopefully I keep keep doing it, more will come. How do you feel about right hand side of midfield now? Oh, well, it's, it's not my not my uh, most natural position, but just keep working on it. You know, I'm just I'm just happy to be out there playing and obviously contributing with the goal was um, was amazing. So you know, if if I'm asked to play, they are play, they are I'll play anyway. Are you slightly? Well, you're not going to be concerned about anything today, but you play in so many different positions. Are you worried that you might not be able to make one your own? Um, it has been mentioned, you know, um, jack of all trade, master of none. But at the moment, I'm just concentrating on football and just trying to be on the trying to be on the team sheet. So if that means I'm on the team sheet as striker, so be it. You know, I'm just, I'm just happy to be playing. And your defensive game came into play. The, uh, near the end of the first half, when you headed one over your own bar, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, Smudge got drawn across, and, and uh, I, was, I, was, I almost put it. I thought I almost put it in my own net, so I was, uh, I was just a bit happy to see it go over the bar. What's the place like now? You've had back-to-back -back home wins. Well, uh, there's always been a, a great atmosphere around the place. Even when the results weren't going our way, there was a, a very strong togetherness, and there was always belief. So. You know, was, we all we knew it was a matter of time because we work hard on the training ground and, and we, are, we all pull for one another, so yeah, it was only a matter of time. What's it like as an 18 year old to hear, I don't know if you did hear the town that comes along and says that today's man of the match is Tom Lock here, when you're out on the pitch, what goes through your mind? Well, it was, um, there was a stoppage in play, wasn't there, so, so I did hear it, um, but there was still, still a few minutes to go, so at the time I was just thinking, I was just thinking, let's just see the game out, you know, try and get try and get a three points and a result. So, yeah. The home fans have certainly taken to you. Yeah, they have. It's uh, it's great, isn't it? Um, uh, I know them um, singing my name, and you know, it's it's like it's it's amazing. You know, I, I can't really describe it. it. It must be well. It's all happened quite quickly, hasn't it, for you? Really, to, to go from being part that you've set up to being in the first team with fans chanting your name. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm quite thankful, but um, you know, just got to keep going. Now this is only what f three or four games, so you know it's a long season, and ho hopefully there's more to come. I try keep working hard to to try and make sure that I'm still there come the end of the season. I saw you walk into the room with a bottle. Um, do you like champagne? <laughs> um, I've only think I think I've only tried it once, but I've been told that you're supposed to keep them and not drink them. So. Um, you know, that's all new to me, but yeah, hopefully there's more. Well played today. Thank you. Tom, Wednesday evening at Ashton Gate, is that a game you're looking forward to? Yeah, naturally it is. Um, it means so much to the fans and, and the players alike. So, yeah, um, just looking forward to Wednesday now. I'm just looking through the team. I don't think there's anyone in that side who's actually played a competitive game against Bristol City. So it's going to be a new experience for a lot of people. Yeah, I know. Um, Everyone's, everyone's looking forward to it and um, hopefully we can go there, go and win a game and uh, try and get a result. Probably be the biggest crowd you've played in front of, I think. Yeah, I, I hear this is a sellout. Um, so, yeah, I think it might be, yeah. <laughs> is that worrying in any way or is that, is that something to, to look forward to and to savour? No, I can't wait, uh, to be honest. Um, I think the atmosphere will be amazing and 
you know, I, I just can't wait for it. Can the same be said of everyone else in the dressing? Will they all really look up for this game? Yeah, um, obviously we were concentrating on today's game, but in the change room after, that's where everyone's thoughts were going to the next game now, which is Wednesday, and uh, yeah, everyone's looking forward to it.